Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilia here taking a look at another edition of Preparing the Pine Belt. This time we're talking about Hurricane Quadrants. You may be saying to yourself, Nick, I've heard of Hurricane Quadrants before, but I don't really remember why they're important or what they do. Well, Quadrant, that just means we're slicing the hurricane in half and in half from top to bottom and from side to side. The right front quadrant, we're talking about the possibilities for tornadoes. Uh, the strongest winds are usually here and the highest storm surge because these things rotate in this direction. All that wind is coming in and off the Gulf of Mexico and plowing right into shore. Uh, the left front quadrant has a smaller threat for tornadoes. And again, that's this quadrant right here. Uh, we also have strong winds here. Obviously, it's a hurricane and the smallest storm surge because those winds are circulating around again around that centralized area of low pressure around that eye that you see and we're actually pulling the wind from shore back out to sea. Now we've got our left rear quadrant. This is where the flooding threat is because as this moves ashore, let's say it's moving again with the arrow here from south to north. That means that say for Hattiesburg and Laurel. If this is going due north, it's been raining since here. And as this continues to travel to the north, by the very end, you get that left rear quadrant. And that's the area that you're concerned the most part about flooding. This is also, thank goodness, where the weakest part of the storm is because it's almost over. Then we have to worry uh, about the uh, the right rear quadrant back here again, still moving north to south. That's the easiest way to kind of break this down. And the, the right rear quadrant, a slight tornado threat. You still have the strong winds, but you still have that flooding threat because again, moving south to north. By the time you get there, it's been raining the longest. And again, how do tornadoes form in a hurricane? A lot of people ask that question. Well, we just talked about the quadrants. That right front quadrant is the uh, best bet to see a tornado. This is why uh, the wind that's coming in is actually a lot faster aloft than it is down at the surface. And that's due to a lot of different things. The number one reason is friction with what's down at the surface. Houses, trees, cars, people, stuff. Aloft, there's no stuff to get in the way. And that wind can just plow right along. Well, what ends up happening is you get a little bit of kind of a rolling effect. You get this horizontal spin in the atmosphere. And, and as the, the air kind of rolls along, eventually it ends up underneath one of those outer bands within the hurricane underneath one of these updrafts that's out there and you take this horizontal spin that you have rolling and you put that underneath an updraft and it tilts that horizontal spin and now you've got a vertical spin and wouldn't you know it now you have yourself a tornado and these things are very quick to form uh, because of the way that that works and they're also very quick to fall apart and die uh, the good news is the tornado threat within hurricanes is generally for EF0 or EF1s. They're short lived. They usually only last a couple of minutes and then they're done. The bad news is it's insult to injury. Not only do you have to worry about the hurricane, you also have to worry about the tornado. So that's this edition of Preparing the Pine Belt. I'm Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilia.